how are we going to mitigate that risk of infection spread that is simply done by devices that I might be bringing from home and having moving from room to room within a hospital. The recent statistics have shown that there actually has been a spike. There is a rise in hospital acquired infections during the COVID period. So it is an essential issue. And I know you've talked a little bit about some of the challenges the VA is facing, you know, the wonders of uh, modern technology. We get new tools that increase our efficiency, that improve patient outcome. But along with some of those tools comes challenges around infection prevention. Can you highlight a little bit more? You mentioned the Vocera badges and the mobile devices. What are the challenges that the VA is facing in terms of infection prevention? And what are the big challenges that you're there to address? What we're going to see in the near future is multiple other handheld devices being deployed within a, a major system like this. So right now we have the Cerner implementation happening at the VA, and that will enable many more other uh, devices and handheld devices. So that alone requires a proactive view about what are we going to do about that? How are we going to mitigate that risk of infection spread that is simply done by devices that I might be bringing from home and having moving from room to room within a hospital? So there's that there's the likelihood of increased number of mobile devices. And then there's just the general, certainly the COVID environment has heightened the need for disinfection. And as I mentioned before, HAIs are always a challenge to deal with. So it's an urgent time for a solution like yours. Well, thank you. Uh, you mentioned Cerner, and uh, for our audience, Cerner, of course, an EMR system, an electronic medical record system. We're seeing the same thing in public and private healthcare institutions. They're implementing EMR systems to improve efficiency, to improve patient outcomes. But as you mentioned, along with that comes technological challenges. And all of those systems, uh, including Cerner, are highly mobile centric. So now hospitals like the VA are deploying mobile devices at a rate that has never been done before. Some have said, and I believe I've said it on this show, that the cell phone may be the most dangerous device to ever enter the healthcare system because it is accessing areas of the facility that have not been accessed by a single device before, going all over the facility and potentially transmitting pathogens. 